try and make our own alcohol inks using brusho. So um, in prior videos, I've mentioned that I've transferred my brusho. I have a 24 pigment or 24 color set. I transfer them to these tiny adorable salt shakers that have a little bit of rice in them. And the rice is there to help absorb water. Um, like humidity in the air. Now I recently swatched my brushos as um, whole colors, not just the individual particulates. And I've got a bunch of uh, mini spritzers as well as some 90% isopropyl alcohol. And um, I've got a little tray, excuse me, a little tray for mixing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, First, I'm going to select the colors because I don't want to do all 24 because some of them are just, they just don't work really well. Um, I will, however, pick, let's see, leaf green, uh, violet was a good one, uh, vermilion is very intense, turquoise, Cobalt blue, and I think sea green. Oh, and I want a yellow. So I think I'm gonna go with um, probably lemon. There. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because we need space to experiment. And that's how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna need seven of these. Now, I'd already mused in the swatching video that um, I really wasn't sure how brusho would dissolve in alcohol. So, I'm going to do a little test. I'm gonna mix it in these wells and then pipe it in here. And to clean my pipette in between, I have a little um, little pool of rubbing alcohol. Hopefully that'll work. So, we'll start with turquoise. Whoa, plenty of, not pigment, plenty of dye. Cause that's what brush is, tiny little dye particles. And I thought that might work better. And I have rubbing alcohol and a little spray bottle. Now, unlike the water, it does not dissolve in the rubbing alcohol at all. You know what though? That's okay. That's why we experiment. So, what am I gonna have to do? I have to change my game plan. Clean out all the brush out. Nice and clean. Ugh got some over here too. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use water to activate it and then pipe it into um, bottles with alcohol in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pipette while it is still 110% clean. I'm going to do the same thing I did in my other um, Let's Make Alcohol Inks video and pipe rubbing alcohol into these bottles. Now I, uh, with the other alcohol ink I made, I did a fill line actually. I probably want a little less than that. And I do that in case I want to make the color again. Okay, so I'm gonna use that one on turquoise. So I'm gonna fill all of these bottles about three quarters of the way up and I'll get back to you guys. So since the plan has changed, so has the setup. I went and got myself a cup of clean water and a clean pipette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some of the brush -o into each of these wells, add a little bit of water and then mix them. Okay, so I have a little bit of brush -o in each of these wells and going counterclockwise, it's turquoise vermilion, cobalt blue, sea green, lemon, leaf green, and violet. And I kept them in the order that I applied them. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water. You really only want to use enough to get it activated. And if you have toothpicks handy, that would be like phenomenal to mix these with because you could use one toothpick per color instead of having to wash off your pipette every time. Isn't it neat watching some of these change color? Okay, so now it's time 
to mix them. And that still feels grainy. And you might have to get a cup of clean water a couple times. So I'm gonna add a little more water. Especially with the yellows, because you want the yellows to be as pure as possible. Now I'm gonna go switch my cup out for a cup of clean water so I can finish the rest of my colors. All right, clean, fresh water. Time to get these finished. And keep in mind that even though I'm showing you how to do this, this isn't a tutorial. I don't know yet whether or not this method's gonna work. All right, just the violet left. Now it is time to pipe it in to our alcohol solution and find out if it's gonna work. I'm gonna start with turquoise. And I'm using the alcohol to try and get more of the solution. So, this is our turquoise so far. And um, we might decide to mix it a little darker, but I think I'm going to hold off testing these until I get this cleared out, because testing it does have a bit of a spray. And I don't want to make too much of a mess. Now, it looks like I didn't mix my vermilion as um, dark as I probably would like. Now for cobalt. Sea green. I might be at the point where I have to clean out my water dish. Definitely gonna be for yellow. So sea green. And what's weird is sea green is this lovely teal color, except I put it in here and it's like, you can see the yellow is reacting to the alcohol. So this isn't even gonna be sea green. So I'm gonna pause this and get a fresh cup of water and be right back. All right, we've got three colors left, lemon, leaf green, and violet. And I went and got a separate cup of water because yellow is the easiest color to contaminate. It tends to be the most transparent. It tends to be the most fugitive. Yellow, like sunshine, is quick to fade. All right, that's lemon. Now for leaf green. Yeah, it definitely seems like, look, the um, alcohol is causing a chemical reaction with something in the dye because it's going from bluish green to like a yellow green. So, brusho might not be, ah. Uh, brusho might not be the best for homemade alcohol inks. We'll find out though. And I got some alcohol on the outside of my bottle and I lost my AL, so I had to remark that. All right, so last but not least, Violet. So I've got my first mixture down. It's time to set this tray in the sink and do a spray test on these. And for that spray test, I have my handy dandy gray cardstock that I'm not super fond of and I'm trying to use it. So let's start with turquoise. Give it a shake. Very faint. So if um, I want a real turquoise, especially a Kool-Aid turquoise like that, I need to mix it darker. So I'm going to label it and set it aside. Ooh. It just like bled right through, like nothing. And uh, I don't think, maybe I ought to, in the future, I ought to see whether or not um, Colorless Blender, because I think Colorless Blender has a little bit of glycerin in it. See if that doesn't soak through so dang fast. All right, now we've got, oh, what did I, Vermilion, there we go. It's very pale for Vermilion. 
Yeah, there's like nothing in there. So far, our brush is kind of meh. I was thinking it would be really good. All right, cobalt, give it a shake. Cobalt is also kind of meh. All right, sea green, which is more like a leaf. No, yes, sea green, which is more like leaf green every time I look at it. Not much of anything. I'm gonna have to grab one more sheet of paper before this is all said and done. All right, lemon. That's the back, it just soaks right through. I'm like running out of places to put it down because I don't want to put them on top of other tests. All right, this is leaf green. All right, that's violet. So, really not impressed with any of these and I thought they were gonna turn out okay. I'm gonna have to mix up a more concentrated batch of brush oil. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so I've got a lot more brush out in each well than I started with. And uh, since I cheated you guys of watching the color transformations when you drop in the water, I, oh, I could zoom in more than this. Some of them are definitely more striking than others. Like that leaf green, for or is that sea green? I think that's sea green. Lemon yellow, leaf green, and oh, that was pitiful, and violet. So, actually, I know this is gonna need more water. Maybe the red. Oh, my yellow got contaminated. Me. Mix the yellow first. It's like little kid chemistry almost. Stir the tiny cup. Pop and kitchen. That's what it's like. It's like pop and kitchen. Stir the tiny cups. Pour the tiny fake food. All right, so here's our lemon ink that we're working on. And here's our lemon watercolor. And we'll just zoop it in there. And I don't think I'm going to do more than like this layer of mixing. Cause this, is a lot of, this is a lot of work and I don't know how much I care about this anymore. Cause it's like, my results are not, like with the other ones, the results were kind of like increasing incrementally. And I was like, all right, okay. But now they're not. So that's lemon yellow. Here's leaf green and it's right there. I'm gonna uncork it. And so it just makes a mess. Yeah, see? As soon as you add that alcohol, it goes from, it's like all the blue, all the blue sediment, cause it's dye based. It's not, it's not, um, sorry, not uh, pigment based. All the blue sediment s sifts out. And as I'm cleaning my, my water dropper in the clean water, it's uh, blue. So all the yellow's going in here and all the blue's going in there. You can see the difference on the cup a little bit. It's much more visible in person though. Okay, wait, I don't wanna do violet next. I actually wanna do turquoise next. Or maybe I wanna do sea green. I'll do sea green. Ah, no! So sea green is kinda like this lackluster color here right now. Let's see if we can get any darker. We really might, we really might be stuck doing uh, Kool-Aid. Oh, there's still sediment. This is gonna turn green too. It's like a, like, yeah, like sixth grade chemistry. Cause it, it went from like a beautiful teal to like just another green. And let's add, see, watch this. Oh, now it's blue. Like little kid magic chemistry or something. I'm gonna have to clean this cup out though because what I'm getting is I'm getting a lot of, of, of color in the water cup and not in the misters. See, that's just not, like that's kind of cool. This, not so cool, and it's the same color. So I'm gonna go clean that water cup again. 
And we're going to do the rednecks because it's the most likely to get contaminated. So we've got this very unimpressive red. Now let's try adding some more red dye to it. I think though, I think whatever they're using for blue is uh, turning yellow or um, dropping out when I add the alcohol because like this is more of an orange than it should be. All right, next we're gonna do purple. Oh, there's lots of sludge at the bottom there. Actually, purple needs more water. I have a feeling that if I get too much of the sediment, it's going to clog up my Mr. Bottle. So that leaves us with turquoise and cobalt. So we'll do cobalt next. I'm having trouble getting my pet pet clean. There we go. And now we only have turquoise left and a mess. So that's my turquoise, which is kind of like blueberry blue from when we were kids, when I was a kid, when I was a young warthog. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Ugh. I bet I'll step on that. Do this again. All right, so this, this is what leaf green dried to. That's the first one. So this is sea green. This is leaf green. So let's do it again. Ooh, I think it's clogging up my thing. All right, looks a little more, a little scooch more intense now that we've like basically done a super saturated second batch. And I need to put some, this somewhere. Here's lemon. That's the first, that's how it dried. Oh man. Lemon. Lemon's a lot more intense. Well, lemon is more intense. That's what we can say about lemon. All right. Whoa, cobalt. And cobalt is just the faintest of hue. So let's try our supercharged cobalt. Yeah. I mean, look at my hands. Like clearly there's some staining properties here. It's not necessarily coming through in the rubbing alcohol. All right, next we have vermilion, which is like the lightest pink. It's like cherry white. Let's try this. Let's see if this is any better. Eh, probably not. Okay. There's turquoise. <laughs> what is this? Really? I think, there we go. Not much darker. Two more to go, guys. Although, I'm beginning to think all those people who said it's not really worth it because you're not really going to get dark enough colors, beginning to think they knew something. They, did I just fling violet? Is my violet leaking? My violet's leaking. So that's violet on the second go round. Gotta let that dry. All right, last one, sea green, which was just like the faintest of sea mists on my paper. Ain't much better. So I gotta let these dry, and then I'll get back to you guys. We'll decide if any of them are worth keeping. Um, and decide together if Brusho works well as a color additive for your homemade alcohol inks. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so while waiting for these, my alcohol inks to dry, I did a little cleaning, and I also grabbed my swatch book so we can do some comparison. All right, so. This is violet as a watercolor. Let me get right up in your face. Violet, excuse me. Violet as a watercolor. 
this is violet as a spray. Now, where did I put that pesky? This might be, this might be what you're looking for. This might be good enough. So let's, uh, it does have a little bit, a little bit of a texture. Let's uh, see if we can mess around with it. Yep, it looks like, looks like when it dries, the alcohol blender did indeed push it. So uh, let's see if, uh, oh, this is dirty. <sighs> I'm out of paper towels too. <laughs> This will work. I want to see if it is waterproof. So I'm using a water brush. And it looks like it picks up a little bit of the purple, not a whole lot. So that's violet. Let's put violet to the side. Let's grab turquoise. That's turquoise. This is turquoise as a watercolor. I couldn't, I couldn't get it dark enough. Let's see if it reacts to colorless blender. Uh, doesn't seem to react to colorless blender. Oh, but it is very reactive to watercolor. So we have a uh, a color by numbers on our hands. All right, so turquoise is not going to work for your alcohol marker, uh, alcohol misters. Just doesn't. If you really want it in a, if you really want a spray ink in a mist bottle, just add water to turquoise. I add water to my watercolors all the time and put them in spray bottles. So that's a pretty common technique for a lot of artists. It's going to work better than trying to make turquoise an alcohol ink. So violet is a eh, and turquoise is a nah. All right, let's keep going. We shoot those fell. Oh, and they fell in a place. It's a pain to get them. Got them. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right, let's see. Vermilion. This is vermilion as a spray. This is vermilion as a watercolor. Yeah. All right, it's got a little bit of a texture on it. That's me testing out alcohol marker. Now I'm gonna test out water. Oh, yep, there you go. All right, so vermilion is another one that does not work as an alcohol spray. That's two. Where did I put, oh yeah. All right, moving onward, we've got cobalt. That's cobalt as a spray. Where's, that's cobalt way down there as a watercolor. Very vibrant color as a watercolor. Not vibrant at all as a spray. So that's me testing the alcohol. Uh, there we go again. I mean, it's a cool technique and you want to make like a homemade uh, magic color or whatever kits, this would be the way to do it. Cobalt is another no-go. All right, we've got lemon. That's lemon as a spray. That's lemon as a watercolor. All right, okay, not, not the worst we've had today. Let's try it as an alcohol spray. Now, let's try it as a, gotta make sure the brush is clean, watercolor. Hmm, looks like it does pick up a little bit. It's probably about the same amount as the violet. So I'm gonna have to come back to this one to decide. All right, so, boop, boop, doop, doop. We have, Leaf green. This is leaf green as a watercolor. This is leaf green as a spray. It's kind of pathetic. Let's try it as an alcohol mister. Let's try it as a water. Oh, there you go. 
It's definitely happy to be a watercolor. It's happy for that water again. So, this is probably a no. Shoot. I got them confused. They look the same. Whatever. We're about to we're about to find out if that even matters. This is sea green. This is sea green and it looks more green. It's actually teal. Let's see. Can I trick the camera? No. Uh, this is a teal kind of green. This is it as a sprite. No, indeed. Nope, any no. Nope, nope, nope. But I betcha. You know what? Let's do something fun. This is water. Oh, how beautiful. It's lovely. <sighs> okay. So, almost definitively, brusho does not work in your alcohol misters. I'm gonna have to dump these and clean these cause it's worthless. Brusho is still really cool. It clearly wants to be a watercolor I and mean, that's pretty. I'll probably scan that and add that to my texture pack except for that ugly spot where I scrubbed it with colorless blender. Let's try cobalt with the water. I mean, this is a cool technique, but you know, like, I don't know, I can't see myself using it too much other than today. And this is not water, this is not like a water friendly paper. Especially if I'm going to use these for paper textures for my backers. Or just for myself, I'm always on the lookout for neat watercolor effects. Doesn't work with vermilion. Vermilion is very unexciting, except where it got blue on it. It's the most exciting part of Vermilion. Had to move some stuff. Water and leaf green. That's cool. That's like a magic show. Because now it's starting to act like it's like it's designed to act. All right. So we've got lemon and oh, we got a lot. I'm just annoyed because I'm running out of space. I have like four projects going on. When do I not? All right, lemon, let's give you a spritz. You can see where another color got on it, but lemon isn't really doing a whole lot with the water. And violet. Also, not doing much with the water. All right, one more. One more, it's turquoise. Whoa, that's like magic. All right, so, brusho, not for use in alcohol misters. I'm gonna go try to clean these out. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this video helped you because uh, it took up a lot of my time and uh, it didn't work at all. But I was the one, I was the dum-dum who was like, brusho might work well. So that's all on me. I can't blame anybody else. But that's why I hope it helps you guys because I hope you can learn from my mistakes. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed watching me mess around with brusho for like two hours, probably, I don't know. Hopefully it's under an hour for y'all. Uh, please leave a like so other people can find this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to be doing even more dumb stuff with alcohol and not the drinking kind. Uh, and consider backing my Patreon so I can afford to do even more videos like this. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.